Hello, we made it. We're here. <laughs> good morning and welcome to Decree the Week. It is so good to see you all. Um, sorry for the delayed connection there. We jumped on at 10 o'clock and realized that we weren't actually connected and none of you could see us, but I can see your names now. Um, so we've got Trinidad and Tobago, we've got Romania, we've got South Africa, and we've also got Karis. Good morning, hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Did I surprise you there? <laughs> yeah, I was like looking at the chat. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I love seeing the people. Um, how are all of you guys out there this morning? Are you good? Tell me how you are. Um, we want to welcome and invite you all to a week of prayer and fasting. If you've not heard this chat already, um, I encourage you to catch up on Power Church from yesterday. I shared a bit on prayer and fasting and uh, what our heart is in this time. But basically, the quick sum up is we are setting aside this week, Monday to Friday, as an intentional time time of prayer and fasting and um, we're all fasting different things depending on what God's called us to fast or, or what our bodies can take things like that and um, but the heart behind it is two things one we are seeking God for heavenly strategies because we want to move from a place of you know having heard these prophetic words, having these senses, having this confidence in what God wants to do, either bigger picture or in our own lives. So then walking out these prophecies by getting God's strategy and knowing how we need to act, how we need to pray. So there's the seeking God for strategy side in this prayer uh, and fasting week. But then the second thing is just knowing that fasting, it, it's like it puts like major power behind our prayers it's like it accelerates the, the I don't know the speed of answered prayer it's like this extra oomph in the spirit and so we believe that there's some of the things that we have been laboring for in prayer for a long time but that when we add a corporate fast to pray for these things it really is going to tear down walls in the spirit it really is going to um you know, dethrone demons and, and it's going to make space for the Holy Spirit to come. So we encourage you to come and pray and fast with us in whatever way you can, because we really believe it's actually going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the sum up of the week. If you want to hear um, a little bit more about fasting and if you want to be united with the voices of the other intercessors around the world, please join our Telegram group. And um, you can down download Telegram um, as an app, either to your phone um, or even to your desktop, like here in the computer. I'm like, if you can watch this on YouTube, you will be able to access telegram somehow um, on your device whether it's a phone or a computer but we've got a telegram group called power prayer global there's a link there in the chat and we're going to be sharing there like when we're meeting for zoom calls and um yes yeah, more information on prayer and fasting and it's an opportunity for you to feedback as well what is god speaking to you about we all need to pray so definitely join that anyway i want to dive straight into our decree today um what are decrees okay decrees are uh, are spoken words in prayer but what they are is it, it's like govern governmental authority in the spirit and so we seek god and we ask god god what do you want to establish here on earth because jesus you are king you are the ruler everything is under your feet and when we hear from him we then speak out decrees with the authority that he has delegated to us and so decrees are not the kind of prayers that start in our heart and go up like petitions they start seeking the heart of god and then we command them on the earth yes. so this week's decree I'll, I'll be honest when i you see, i usually pray on like a sunday night and um, sometimes it's the week before and i ask the lord lord what do you want us corporately to decree this week and if i was just coming up with this week's decree out of my own heart i'd probably decree something along the lines of like lord would you tear down all the stronghold or no we decree tearing down of strongholds and uh, for all our prayers we, we decree um strategies come down from heaven you know those are the kind of things that i would just love to decree and um, but actually the scripture that i felt the lord brought uh, for this week is ephesians 1 17 and i'm going to share it with you just i'm going to read the passage surrounding this because um it is powerful and make note of this ephesians 1 17 and to the end of the chapter um this may be worth meditating on in your time of prayer and fasting and um, but listen to this so starting in 16 i never stop giving thanks to you as i remember you in my prayers i pray that the god of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, would give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. And that's what we're going to decree, but I'll keep going. I pray that the perception of your mind may be enlightened so you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the glorious riches of his inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his vast strength. 
Mm. He demonstrated this power in the Messiah by raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every ruler and authority, power and dominion and every title given, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put everything under his feet and appointed him as head over everything for the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. That that is the passage. And here's what I, I sense the Lord wants us to decree. He wants us to decree that that spirit of wisdom and revelation of the knowledge of God goes out and is received and is grabbed onto and is applied Mm. and this a number of different ways when I think about like like people like us you know intercessors people that already know know God if we received fresh download of heavenly wisdom and of of knowledge of God how much more is that going to supercharge how we pray Mm. like it's going to clear to the side the doubts and the cynicism and the oh like I don't know, like the lack of faith and how much more are we going to be anchored in strength and in expectation, knowing that Jesus has put everything under his feet. And so when we pray, we're not pleading in in strain. We're actually um, starting from from that posture of victory. We're praying in urgency, you know, from a place of victory, knowing how powerful and strong, knowing about his his vast strength and um, yeah, the authority that Jesus really carries. So that's what I wanted to create where people like us, but then think about people that that don't yet know God. Like we're decreeing that they would get heavenly wisdom, not earthly yeah. wisdom, because we know they're not going to be fulfilled in their lives with earth, earthly wisdom. We want them to get heavenly wisdom. We want them to know God as he can be known. We don't want God to be distant and unknown anymore. We want God to be known uh, to everyone. Like we know that it's the will of God that everyone will come to know him. We know he wants that. And so we can decree that. And this is going to be part of how we pray for salvation. Yes, we lift up the names of the people that we know and you know our neighbors and our friends and our family. And we say, Lord, you know, we pray about the specifics in their life and where they're at, but also like generally, we can decree lord you're not the knowledge of you will be known on the earth this will be established people will know this people will be transformed by this people will live their lives according to this we can decree this together so yes. that's what we're going to do today karis what i know you've been hearing from the lord on this like what what's on yeah. your heart oh absolutely i mean this is just i think this is the best way to just cal like recalibrate ourselves at the beginning of a week of prayer and fasting Mm -hmm. because ultimately you know when we come to the prayer and fasting what like it's it's taking away almost the information of everything else and everything else we put ourselves under and it Mm. it puts ourselves back under that authority of jesus and it it puts us back under the authority of heaven Mm. and i love that you know, I keep asking that that there's a hunger for wisdom and revelation that comes from this, that I think will be birthed out of this prayer and fasting week. And that's why this is the decree is we're saying, God, we only want the information from heaven. So that what we're praying this week isn't just as much as it is the intercession of our hearts, but our hearts Mm -hmm. are so in tune with who you are, Mm -hmm. that we know you better and better and better this Mm -hmm. week, that we have an intimacy with your heart, that what we pray in our intercession this week Uh what we continually lift up is what Mm. you've already as you said deposited down to us from heaven and Mm -hmm. as you were speaking with it looked it was like um like meteorites from heaven coming down to each and every one of us as we were praying and it wasn't just what we were lifting up but god was shooting like fire bolts Uh down to the into the into the intercessors and down into Mm -hmm. the prophetic people so that what they were lifting up was just in in tune with what heaven was already doing so Mm -hmm. i think as we decree this and as we pray this maybe have a posture Mm -hmm. of hunger as well for this to say like this is more than just you know we just want the wisdom and the revelation just for Mm -hmm. information's sake and just for knowledge's sake but actually no this is my entire body getting in tune with heaven knowing my father so intimately knowing Mm -hmm. jesus so intimately that we're interceding together Mm. and we're doing it in unison and we're doing it and we're we're groaning and we're and we're we're looking seeing what that might look like and i'm Mm -hmm. interested to 
see even as this this week and as we come back on decree of the week next week mm. once we decree this and we've had that moment of intercession together mm. i would i can't wait to hear what everyone says and yeah. the way that god revealed himself to me this week mm -hmm. and how in tune we were as we prayed yeah. and as we interceded that is exciting because it means the people of god are starting to get right with the heart of god yeah. and not subscribing only to the way of the world and how we're praying and as we're interceding so mm -hmm. that's what i'm excited about amazing i love i love hearing you say that because i i was hearing the lord say that there are intercessors who are weary and who are tired because they have labored and this labor mm -hmm. has been it's been a good labor they, they've carried with responsibility the burdens that god has given them but yet the result is they've ended up depleted and and weary and just feeling yeah. a bit kind of battle worn and actually what you described there about the meteor was it meteors like coming down yeah like, i yeah. just see an, a fresh like strengthening of the intercessors those who have yes. labored well those who have carried these burdens well it is now the time for a re-strengthening rooted in his vast strength like rooted mm -hmm. in that revelation of who he is and where he stands and where we stand in relation to him mm -hmm. so let's just do this let's just dive into prayer shall we yeah let's do it. know how this works at home we release this decree now but um you take this into your week you meditate on it you pray into it you apply it to the different things that god wants you to apply it to so this is just your little start off uh lord god you are incredible jesus you are our king of kings our lord of lords and we praise you that everything is under your feet everything you are the king above all kings you're the name above all names and so yes. we decree we decree in the name of jesus that that spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you would be released on the earth and we decree yes. that not only be released but it would be caught it would be caught and yes. so we pray for every weary intercessor that they would be strengthened according to your vast strength we pray for every person who does not yet know you lord that they would come to that revelation of you the one true god and lord that they would catch that that there would be um seeds sown on soil that is ready to re to receive it and so in the name of jesus we clear to the side those ravens and we clear to the side those rocks and we say would your word go out and would your word be received jesus come with revelation yes god we decree the fire of yes. wisdom and revelation yes. to light up your intercessors this week mm -hmm. god yes. i pray yes. that our hearts our mm -hmm. minds our bodies our spirits yes, our emotions everything that mm -hmm. we are right now gets calibrated to mm -hmm. who you are god we pray right now that yes, yes as much as we have the knowledge in mm -hmm. our heads but god we want the knowledge in everything that we are in our mm -hmm. words in our in our um in our thoughts and yes, our feelings Lord. god even just right now i just release to you may you have a tangible feeling mm -hmm. right now the weight yes. of the knowledge of god the yes, weight Lord. of the wisdom of god mm -hmm. i just release to you that tangible fire right now yes. feel the tangible fire to say yes. oh God is with me as I intercede. God mm -hmm. is with me as I release this prophetic word. God yeah. is with me as I speak words of wisdom and revelation. Mm -hmm. We release that to you right now in the name mm -hmm. of Jesus, that this is not to be a burdensome week, but this no. is one that is just a release of the fire yes. of God. Yes. And it matches onto every person that is around you. Yes. And that is the spirit of wisdom. That mm -hmm. is the spirit of revelation. That is the spirit of intercession that comes mm -hmm alongside that and i pray even mm -hmm. the, the continuation of those scriptures saying that mm -hmm. us as the inheritance of god have mm -hmm. full access to heavenly things mm -hmm. i speak over you right now the strengthening of heaven mm -hmm. and the um the tools of heaven as yes, you pray Lord. And as you press in and as you mm -hmm. fast this week to yes. know that and to know that those that is in your arsenal, that that mm -hmm. is in your treasure chest, that those yes, are the things yes. that you get to have this week mm -hmm. that are so special. And that yes, those Lord. who are around you who do not yet know the wisdom and the revelation mm -hmm. of God that have not met him before, see the fire that is upon you and they mm -hmm. want that fire as well. So we release that to you yes. right now in the name of Jesus and we decree that fire 
in the name yeah. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we bless everyone on this call and everyone who is praying wherever they are in the world. We bless them to be well, to be protected. Lord, we bind any discouragement that may come against them. We bind any distractions that may come yeah. against them. And yeah. we say, Lord, may their times be set apart for you this week. May we be set apart for you this week, Jesus. Guide us in this because you are our Lord. You are our master. And we know, Lord, that we don't want to pray out of our own strength. We want to pray out of your heart and out of your love. Lord, root us in love. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, so whew, you guys take that. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Wanna keep going? Um, yes. Okay. I'm so I'm so expectant and excited to see what happens uh, this week, uh, guys. I got um, a flood of emails this morning asking for the Zoom links. We're meeting on Zoom tonight at eight and Wednesday at eight. I'm going to do my best to reply to all of you. But if I don't get to you, know that the Zoom links are on the Telegram. So that's the best place. That's like our the Power of Prayer Global Telegram. It's like our hub that we can find the information and we can connect with each other. So get on that Telegram if you're trying to uh, join us on the Zoom calls. If you're in Glasgow, we're having a, a prayer meeting on Friday night where we can do all this in person but no it won't be live streamed so you'll need to be in Glasgow for that there's an event right online it'll be 7 30 till 9 and um, it's going to be awesome we're actually having some of the teenagers help lead it so if you want to receive off their fire um yeah, come be part of that. it's gonna be awesome um, but yeah, um, if you missed the conference last week, I highly recommend that you rewatch it online. Uh, you can still do that. Um, I'm sure Todd will drop us a link. And I especially recommend, no, I recommend all of it. I recommend all of it. Listen to it all. But as we're thinking about prayer and fasting, um, listen to Sam and Emma's sessions on the Saturday afternoon. Because um, there's a lot in that that I think flows us into what we're praying for and what we're fasting about this week. But mm -hmm. but do listen to all of it because the whole conference was so, so good. good. So you can still mm -hmm. catch that online. Um, anything else announcements wise? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. <laughs> Great. Okay. Um, I'll bless you guys and let you go. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we will see you next week. Same time. Decree the week. All right. Bye. Bye.